Back to Africa, you know, I could connect that yeah, strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, man. Listen, Ben, about to all that music. Me want all African music. <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me. <laughs> and you talked earlier about your first trip to Africa. Mm -hmm. and have you been you, several times since then? Uh, I've been, uh, last place I've been was uh, Ivy Coast. Cote d'Ivoire. No, I've been Morocco, which I want to get back to. Uh, uh, um, there in Kemet, which is known as Egypt today, and then they're still waiting to get to South Africa. They've been waiting for me for a long time to the apartheid thing, because we had the problems over there. They wanted, you know, the, the apartheid people wanted to kill us because <laughs> we were making all the records against them, but now it's good to go. Just waiting. I just wanted to just get a little, you know, I guess, visionary statement about the whole, because I mean, Africa's having a new renaissance of hip hop. Whereby I travel to a village and I find a sugar cane grower with a cassette tape. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, I'ma pop in my tape, man. You know, it starts spitting. You know, like I don't know if you've really been aware of all, all, all that stuff, but what you think about that connection beyond that the motherland has not picked it up, and it's really given the local farmers, you know, different ghettos a new avenue now, whereby it's also bridging a gap of, of creating a new people's unified voice. Yeah, well, I, I love what's going on. In that sense of Africa, um, using hip hop to wake up the community. I don't like where it's just using other side of hip hop, which we need all of it, where they might cause negativity in Africa, because we have too many problems, especially when we had the problems in Liberia or any problems with mm -hmm. um, the, the, the diamond, the bling bling, and all that type yeah. of stuff, or young kids killing uh, other young kids or. or or villages and stuff like that. And my thing is to the whole planet, this should not be not one person in Africa starving or living in some type of hut. Mm -hmm. When Africa is so to feed the whole planet 10 times 15 over. Who is controlling what's going on in Mother Africa, uh, keeping the people like that, burning the, the people for that to have rice and, and having little fights and stuff over rice? Who is controlling that bling bling with them? We got the diamonds, the gold, the, all every species of animals and everything that, that the Creator gave to Mother Africa that gave the whole rest of the world where all humans come from, from the first place. So that's the thing that brothers and sisters need to use that fifth element to try to bring that freedom in Africa. We say we love the reggae of Bob Marley, then God speaking like what Bob Marley taught. You know, you say we love uh, Fela Kuti that was happening in Nigeria. They start speaking and acting like Fela Kuti start doing. You know, he didn't play the game. That's why they had to, to, to get the brother and draw his mother at the window and all that. Because they didn't, they feel what was coming from the brother or yeah. sister mouth, Winnie Mandela. So we have lost that. We got too much fun and play. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we want to be like this country and that country and forget that we got to be working to get back, well, Africa back on the one mm -hmm. to become a great civilization that that she gave to the whole planet. So when we start thinking like that and using hip-hop to raise that conscience, brother, stop killing your brother over there. Stop raping this one. Stop doing this. Stop chopping this one. Stop worrying because you, you, you. Who tool you or you, you? Yes, that's right. We all the same people, all the same history. All the history of everybody is all our history. Yeah. And when we think like that, then we can move on. But I'm not going to fight you because you who tool. You say, oh, I believe in Allah, I believe in Jah, I believe in Yahweh, I believe in Amen Ra. You know, it's all our history. So it's just degrees of, of, of knowledge that we all want through. And, uh, you know, personally, being that I travel in those regions between Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda, mm -hmm. you know, I've actually seen the power of hip-hop in communities where mm -hmm. people didn't believe something could come out of it. That's right. You know, where kids that were not <laughs> learning are now learning how to write just for the excitement of wanting to understand hip-hop. Mm -hmm. You know, kids that didn't have any form of, like, sense of, I'm a poet. Mm -hmm. They're starting to realize, well, my words mean this much. Mm -hmm. 
You know, so it's definitely power, and this is just a piece I was grabbing for all the kids in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, you know, to to meet the man behind hip-hop, the power of the force. One love, one people. Peace.